Hi everyone. I uh, would like to talk to you about what is oxidization. And uh, I will show you what it means and what I understand recently. It's something, a concept that have you heard about it? And uh, we use it, but until recently I just find out what it really means. Oxidization happens when two molecules, uh, one molecule attracts another electron and gains that electron. And that's the chemical definition. The definition of in chemistry, it's a chemical process where two molecules, uh, one attracts an electron from another one. <laughs> so, in other words, it's it's as simple as this. So you have a molecule. Let's, let's make this molecule. And this is the atom. And then each atom has electrons circling around the atoms, right? So let's make these atoms. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this time, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this molecule has eight electrons circling around the molecule. This one has six. Okay, so so far so good. This atom has has six electrons. This atom has eight electrons. When a, when an atom has six electrons in its last uh, orbit, it always tries to get two to be happy. So the idea is that an electron would have eight and they would be happy. So this guy is this guy is happy and this guy is unhappy. Okay? Because it needs two more electrons. So what it does, it steals from this molecule two electrons. And it becomes happy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this one is happy. And this one is so happy because it lost two. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the process of oxidization. When a, when a, when a, when a, when a molecule loses two electrons from another one. And you know what this is called? It's three radicals. Happy. They're unhappy because they're missing two electrons. Over here, when it becomes happy again, they are stable. This one that was happy because it lost two, it became unstable and it became a radical. But, but the problem is now this one is going to try to look for two more to get its stability back. Now, there's another one over here. We have eight. And this, this radical is gonna try to steal it. Now, this one here, let's assume that it doesn't have eight. It has, it has one, two, three, four. It has more, it has, I think it has, well, these ones here are called, they're called antioxidants, okay? So these guys here are antioxidants, this is a radical, it's looking to get stable. So antioxidants, as you guys know, some of them are like uh, kiwi or blueberries or uh, elements that are there that have extra electrons to give away. So this guy was a radical, he gives two. And it's still happy because it still has eight, right? It's not a, it doesn't hurt him. Now this one becomes happy again. Okay, so the process of losing electrons to another one is called oxidization. And antioxidants help you gain back those electrons. And that's why they say antioxidants are good. Now the key thing is not all antioxidants 
have eight or 10 or uh, 12. Some of them are better antioxidants than others, and some of them um, can penetrate certain tissues in the body or, yeah, uh, or, and certain cannot. This is why some antioxidants are good in certain conditions and some are not. But not all of them are equal. So the process of oxidization, you know why it's, it's, it's good, uh, but when it's too much, it can harm you. And that is why the, the, the free radicals in the, in the, in that are out there that you, you consume, uh, they're harmful for you because they're, they're making your molecules unstable. And this is why it's important to have antioxidants in your body. Now, one thing I'm going to share with you. In the periodic table in chemistry, as you guys have um, studied before, the smallest element in the periodic table is the hydrogen, and it's the smallest. And you know what's cool about the hydrogen? The hydrogen is the best antioxidant that's out there. It has a lot of free electrons to give to donate. So when you consume hydrogen, you're consuming the antioxidants, and it's the best antioxidant because it's the smallest and therefore it can penetrate anything. So the reason why uh, antioxidant uh, hydrogen is, is, is that it's so important to us and we, we feel that it's, it's beneficial for everyone is because of this reason. The antioxidant, it protects you from oxidizing, from getting old from rejuvenating it, from rejuvenating your old cells. Anyways, I hope that it was helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, reach out and uh, I'll gladly uh, answer any questions if I can. All right, take care.